All right, play the Star Wars music. The 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 Star Wars music, you know the bum 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 bum. Well, I, what? Oh, oh, we can't do the Star Wars music. We don't have the rights to it. I forgot. Well, it's a good thing when I was doing the Star Wars music and do a good job because if I had done a good job, whew, we could have had Lucasfilm and Disney coming right at us. Okay. Um. Well, sorry, Mark Hamill. Um. I guess this won't have the Star Wars music, but uh, it will still be 10 facts you might not have known about yourself, I guess. Oh, this is mostly for fans of you, but I'm giving it to you because it's my birthday present to you, even though you know the... You know, forget about it. it just, just roll the video. After the text goes by, come on, come on, almost, ah, there. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello and welcome to Really Random Ranch, the show we do just that. I'm Tim and today, as said earlier, I'm going to be saying 10 facts you may not have known about Mark Hamill. So, going on to fact one, we have he wrote his own comic book. Now, if you are a kid, like myself, who has never read it by the way, um, I would not encourage you to read it. I was watching an interview of him on Conan O'Brien from the 80s or 90s, and uh, apparently it is not a clean comic. Uh, it it was definitely meant for an older audience, I will say that from what I've heard. But uh, he did write his own comic book, so yeah, it's from Dark Horse Comics, by the way. So that is fact number one. Going on to fact number two. As of filming this, he is 66 years old. Sorry, Mark Hamill, I just revealed your age to a whole audience. Um, maybe I should undo this fact? Um, I'll, wait. What's that? Sorry, they, they won't let me undo it. Um, sorry about that. On to fact number three. Though he is most known for playing Joker in many, 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 many animated Batman themes and other DC themes over the years, Joker is not the only DC character that he has portrayed. Here are a list of some, but not all, of the other characters. He played the Trickster in the old Flash show from the 90s, as well as the new show starring Grant Gustin. And even in the Justice League Unlimited show, he played Trickster. He's played the villain Threshold, Solomon Grundy, Tony Zuko, the Spectre, Sinestro, and the anti-hero Swamp Thing. Again, those are just some, but not all of the DC characters that Mark Hamill has played. This guy can pull off a lot of voice acting. As a matter of fact, how much acting has he done, both voice and live action? Well, here's the answer. Moving on to number four. Mark Hamill has played 306 characters throughout his career. This includes live action and animated. Oh, and these aren't just the characters. These are things he's appeared in. And these r roles range from the year 1963 to 2019. That's even the future we're talking about. Getting halfway there onto fact number five, Mark Hamill appeared in an episode of season one of The Partridge Family. The episode is episode 16 and was called Hold Scrap Mouth. This was actually before he got his role as Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. This episode came out in 1971 and is available for free to watch on Daily Motion if you're interested in seeing it. Moving on to fact number six, Mark Hamill once climbed into Jabba the Hutt. That's right, Mark Hamill shared this. It's like a big rubber enclosure. All the puppeteers had gone to lunch and I wondered, I wonder what it's like in there. And what did Mark Hamill do? Well, he went into Jabba the Hutt during the filming of Return of the Jedi. Fact number seven, in the R-rated animated feature of Batman the Killing Joke, Mark Hamill sang as the Joker in the song, I Go Looney. In most movies, they'll have the main person who voices the character and then an alternate singing voice. But Mark Hamill actually did the song. You can watch the song on YouTube or you can buy Batman the Animated Killing Joke wherever movies are available. Fact number eight, Mark Hamill actually drank the blue milk on the set of Star Wars. Now what did he say about it? Well, in short, he said, 
It's sweet and syrupy and yucky. So that's right, if you ever want blue milk, it doesn't taste so good. On to fact number nine. Mark Hamill has actually watched our show. What, what? I mean, I had to put this fact somewhere on the list. When you're a teenager in a small town making a YouTube show, it's kind of impressive when he sees it. Though he just saw our channel trailer for all we know, but still cool. On to the final fact, fact number 10. Mark Hamill actually voices a character on the Phineas and Ferb spin-off, Milo Murphy's Law, currently on Disney XD. If you want to see him there, you can. New episode there every Monday. And catch Star Wars The Last Jedi coming to theaters December 15th. I hope you enjoyed this video, Mark Hamill. Um, sorry some of the facts were weird, but I had to pick ones less people would know. So, um, as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. This is Tim from Really Random Rant saying happy birthday, Mark Hamill. I hope you had a great day. Hashtag Deb did it first and have a really, really random day.